Well, so here's the deal. I just got done diving the SS Wisconsin. Uh, bottom depth was like 130, amazing dive. I've never done a freshwater dive like this. Uh, this is in Lake Michigan, right out, right out from uh, like six miles off the coast from Kenosha. The crew was so nice, Yitka, who owns, you know, uh, Shipwreck Explorers, she's just unbelievably nice to me. So I uh, had such a good time. Hopefully uh, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this. So I figured I'd start off with the boat that we're on today. It's the Molly V uh, by Shipwreck Explorers. Pretty cool boat. I forget the actual um, length of the boat. I think it was 28 feet if I can remember right, but completely an aluminum boat. Uh, awesome boat set up just for diving. Uh, pretty nice boat. You can see two divers there doing their deco. Absolutely flat calm. I mean, it was crazy calm the day we were out there. So Shipwreck Explorers is owned by Yitka. That is her right there. She owns the boat. She owns the charter company. I was with, uh, I was a little bit out of place. You know, don't get me wrong, I've been diving for a little bit, but these people, I mean, everybody was like a tech diver on this boat. I was diving a single 80, and you can see that, you know, rebreather, bailout bottles, I mean, these, uh, they had everything. Here was um, the first dive I was on, sitting at like 108 feet there, but I'm just kind of showing them what they look like in the water. They just have so much experience, so much training. It's so cool to watch. Definitely would like to get there someday. The first dive I did, I didn't do too much. This is actually it right here. I kind of just swam around the wreck. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the SS Wisconsin. Um, but yeah, I just kind of swam around the wreck, checked it out. I did one full circle. I'm at the bow right now. But yeah, I didn't really do too much on the first dive, so what I want to show you guys is the uh, is the second dive. Camera is on. Just jumped in the water. Gonna head down the anchor line. Everybody else did one really, really long dive, and uh, I I did two shorter dives because I did not go into deco, and they they did. But they're all deco trained, and I'm not. Boy, I think that was about 90 feet. I think you could see the wreck around 80 something feet. But uh, I had like three things that I wanted to do on this dive. So I knew I wasn't going to have a super long time. Uh, so as soon as I got down here, I got right after it. If I can remember right, this is on the uh, port side of the wreck, kind of more towards the uh, stern. This ship went down in I believe the 20s so these cars in here are from the 20s and this is what I really wanted to see on this dive were these cars so pretty cool there's I think one two three right there and then there's another one kind of almost more over to the right looking inside the cars I think that's like where the steering wheel would be there's the fourth one right there Checking out more of the wreck. There was a room kind of back in over here that I wanted to look down. I'm not 100% sure what this room was. Yeah, I definitely silted it up a little bit on the way on the way in. Looks like we're sitting at 121 feet, my bottom time, and I have six minutes left down there. I wanted to look down in this hole. I saw it whenever I came in, but I wanted to see what was down in there. Water is pretty stagnant down in there. Figured I would 
kind of slip back up through the wreck, back over here to my right, kind of like right in that section, that's where I was diving before. This is some type of stack. I'm not exactly sure for what. I mean, I would imagine steam, but uh, I saw in different pictures and videos that you could actually drop down in it. So I just wanted to kind of drop down into the bottom, take a look, see what was down in there. Yeah, diving in, diving in the Great Lakes is unreal, though. Diving in Lake Michigan, I've never dove in anything, any type of fresh water like this. So, here, here I am kind of dropping down at the bottom of the stack. Pretty cool. Definitely some, definitely some stagnant water down in there. You don't want to. You don't want to silt it up too much. Once I checked that out, there's one more thing that I wanted to do on this dive. I think when I got to when I got to like a hundred and I think it was like 20 feet or something like that, I had about 11 minutes total down there. So I wanted to move quick. Now this is on the starboard side, more towards the front. I'm not sure if this is actually how it sank or or what, but kind of a decent size hole in the side there. So coming up in there, this is where a lot of the cargo was in the wreck. You can see these hand saws. Keep in mind, you know, from the 20s. Those are from from the 20s, those hand saws are. Yitka was saying that there was a crate of shoes, and I thought maybe I knew what she was talking about, so I wanted to come back in here and check this out. You can see some radiators right there. I'm not sure what like all these little bars are. I think they're like hand carts of some sort. But uh, here's this crate of shoes. Check out how good of condition these shoes are. Check that out. The shoes are from the 20s. Just super, super cool. Yeah, looked around a little bit more, um, but I pretty much timed out on that one. Uh, I think I'm going to show my computer here in just a second, and you can see that I have one minute left of my NDL time, or my no decompression limit. Yeah, there's the one right there. So that's pretty much it. The bottom depth was 130, and I was diving 28% oxygen, uh, so I didn't have a ton of ton of time down there the 28 percent got me some but yeah hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed